Hey guys, what's going on? Jamie here with another update for the Animal Farm launch. Um, as you guys know, if you're in our Telegram or if you're following this project at all, um, the launch was supposed to be yesterday. There was a delay and um, it's going to be launching today in about two and a half hours, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, from when I'm making this video, it'll be around two and a half hours, give or take. And uh, everything should be set. All they got to do right now is unpo unpause the dog token and uh, we should be able to go live straight away. So we'll talk a little bit about that, give you my thoughts, give you some things to expect during this launch, or at least uh, from my perspective, you know, the pattern from, you know, uh, all the other launches, what to expect. And we'll cover a couple of other things. We'll show you a little bit about some of the pools, um, a safe play you can take with the Animal Farm for those of you guys that like safe plays. I know majority of you guys that are watching this video don't like safe plays. You want to get the, the D-Gen, you know, high gains, which is great. Uh, I love that too. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm into all of that. But some of you guys might be looking for a safe play. Um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about how you could do that and essentially get quote unquote free money, um, you know, with the Animal Farm. Um, that being said, I'm not a financial advisor, guys. Never take anything I say as financial advice. Um, always do your own research and your own due diligence. If you're going to get into anything that I talk about on my channel or anything in crypto for that matter, only put in what you can afford to lose, guys. Okay, risk capital only. There are no guarantees in this space. So again, you should only be putting in funds you can afford to lose and should also have the stomach for risk. If you don't have the stomach for risk, you're going to have a hard time in this, in this, uh, in this space. Um, so that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, this is the post yesterday. Again, if you were following uh, the launch, you know, it was supposed to launch at 12 PM Eastern uh, Forex was doing a VC, did a great job. Um, but then there was a couple of things that, you know, that was a, uh, you know, he hit a snag on, I guess that caused the delay. And after a couple of hours, he decided to say, you know what, we're going to just push it till tomorrow because, again, it's off hours. It's not peak hours somewhere around the world. It's probably in the middle of the night. And he decided to push it up until today. Not the first time. This has happened before. That's why, you know, a couple of people have messaged me saying, hey, you know, what are your thoughts? This is this is pretty normal. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. Right. It's just this is kind of what happened, you know, several times before. And then once they got through the delay, the launch went you know, pretty smooth. So again, I'm not stressing it. I'm not worried about it or anything like that. I'm pretty sure they've worked everything out already and that they that this will launch today. Um, whether it launches at 12 p.m. Eastern on the dot or if it gets pushed back a little bit, an hour or two hours, whatever the case might be, uh, I'm pretty confident that it's going to launch today. So we'll see. We'll see again. No guarantees. I'm not part of the team. I don't have any inside information or anything like that, but I'm pretty confident that it'll launch today. So this was the post yesterday. Um, it was at 6 p.m. Eastern. He said, uh, Forex said, we spent hours working on the drip liberation. The problem was uh, with the drip liberation. If you guys know or, you know what the drip liberation is, people can actually uh, you know, click that tab and use the drip liberation contract to create LP tokens for um, you know, for the garden or, or in this case for the pool, right? For the, for the, for the farm, drip BUSD LP token. So obviously you need to have that working, right? It has nothing to do with the actual farms and pools, but you need to have the drip liberation contract working so that people can go in there and create LP tokens and, you know, put it into the, put it into the farm, right? Now you might say, well, can't people just go to a pancake swap? Yeah, they can. I mean, they're not, but they're going to get hit with a fee probably. And some people don't know how to do that. Let's face it. There are people that don't know how to do that. Okay. People, you know, or people, you know, want to just use the, the drip liberation contract, throw BUSD in there and have the LP token created for them. Uh, so that he needed it to work. And, and unfortunately, there was a, you know, there was an issue with it, right? So it says here, Drip Liberation, which was having an issue due to us, due to a service it utilizes becoming outdated um, of all times for it to happen, completely unrelated to our launch. But of course, it's important for Drip Liberation to be active on the launch. Like I said, people want to use that to get LP tokens so that they can throw it into the, uh, the Drip BUSD farm. Uh, we want to go live at an optimal time with everyone on the same page and not during dead market hours without a significant countdown. The liquidity is added. All the contracts are deployed. All that we need to do is unpause the token and we are live. So again, hardest part is, you know, getting all the liquidity added and deploying the contracts. That part is done already. Did that yesterday. Plenty of time to do it, obviously, right? Um, an extra 24 hours. And all they need to do at this point is unpause the token and everything will go live. Okay, so this is the address for the dogs token. Okay, don't use any other address. 
make sure you're using this address right here. I'll, I'll, I'll put a, I'll, uh, copy and paste this address down below. So you'll have it in the description box. Um, it says here, we will be unpausing uh, the dog token and starting emissions tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern and platform rewards will start at 1 PM Eastern. Okay. So again, hopefully we stick to that, to that um, time frame, time schedule, but you know, if it gets pushed back an hour or two or what have you, he might, he might jump on a VC and, and talk for an hour. I'm not sure. Okay. Here's two things that I've come to expect whenever Forex does a launch. Okay. Number one, there's going to be a delay. Okay? <laughs> just the way it is. That's just the way it is, guys. Okay. And again, that's not a, some of you guys might be impatient with that and say, oh man, it shouldn't be that way. You got to understand Forex, he wants this thing to work seamlessly and work properly, right? We don't want to launch immaturely, right? And then find out there was something wrong and then we have to pause again and then start over. You don't want that, right? I mean, that's just, that's just a pain in the butt. Let him fix it. Let him do what he needs to do. Let him, you know, work everything out. And you got to understand also this, there's millions of dollars at stake here, tens of millions of dollars that, you know, at the end of the day, Forex is responsible for. So he needs to cross every T dot every I, make sure everything is working properly. Some of you guys, you know, and again, don't take this the wrong way. I mean, I'm not trying to be sarcastic or anything, but you know, you got $500 in your crypto wallet and you're, you're careful with it, right? You're trying to, you're sending it when you got to send a transaction, you're double checking everything, making sure everything is right. Look how careful you are with your 500 bucks. This guy has tens and tens and tens of millions of dollars of our funds. He needs to make sure everything is working properly, right? So again, do I want it to be delayed for a day? No, of course not, right? I want this thing to, to start cranking because I want to make money with it, right? I'm, I'm just like everybody else. But I'm a, I'm a business person. I'm an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur for more than 25 years. I know how things go. You know, there's things that come up, unfortunately, right? And this is just one of them, right? So, you know, that's one thing I've come to expect whenever there's a launch with, you know, the Drip ecosystem is there's going to be a delay. That's just the way it is. And then typically after that delay, it works perfectly smooth and we're off and running. We're off to the races, right? The other thing I've come to expect is um, the tokens do take a dip. Whenever there's a launch, the tokens, whether it be Drip, pigs, whatever, they take a dip, okay? People are selling, people are, you know, uh, you know, selling uh, selling their tokens off, whatever the case might be, there's always a dip whenever there's a launch like this. So if you're sitting there saying, oh man, I wonder why drip is, you know, dropping a little bit or why it hasn't come up or why is pigs dropping? It is what it is. People are people and that's what they're going to do. Like right now, the dog's token, when this thing goes live, if you sell your dog's tokens right away, you're going to get hit with a 90% tax. There's an, there's an incentive to hold your tokens and put it into the farm, put it into the, to, to the animal farm because you're going to get loyalty rewards. You're going to, your taxes will drop over time. If you sell right away, you're going to get hit with a very hefty tax, 90%. Guess what? Guarantee you there's going to be people that sell. Why? Because people are people. <laughs> that's, just, that's just the way it is. I don't try to understand it because that's a waste of my time. I can never understand what people's motives are and what they're trying to do. And, you know, what, whatever the case might be, I, I don't really spend time trying to understand it because at the end of the day, I can't control it. So why spend time thinking about it? Right. But I guarantee you, people are going to sell. It just is what it is. It's just, it's just how it works. It's just people are people. Right. So again, whenever there's a launch, these tokens will drop and then it comes back up. Right. Hopefully it comes back up higher than it was, but it'll always come back up. And, you know, we, we grow organically from there. So again, if you're sitting there wondering, you know, hey, why is pigs dropping? Because people are people, <laughs> just the way it works. So, uh, you know, those two things I never re really worry about, okay? Because again, we've, we've made a ton of money and profit from, you know, all of Forex's projects, even despite those two things that, you know, I've come to expect. So this is going to be no different. I'm super excited about this, bullish on this project. Um, again, if this is over your head and you really don't understand how this works and, you know, you don't know how impermanent loss works, you don't know, because some of you guys are new to crypto, right? Focus on the faucet, make that your main deal, right? You might want to get into the farm too, or maybe throw a little bit into the pools or what have you, but make the bulk of your, your, you know, make the bulk of it into the faucet because the faucet is, that's 1% a day. You know what I mean? Yes, there's volatility with drip. That's how crypto is, but it's 1% a day, 1% a day, 1% a day, 1% it's every day. There's 1%. You're going to get paid out passively till you hit 365%. So if the price of drip stays where it is, which it's not, right? It's not. This is crypto. It's going to come up. It's going to come down. It's all over the place, right? But 
just for this example, right? Just to, so you can wrap your head around this concept. If drip stays where it's at, you're making 3.65 X on your deposit, right? Um, now, again, price of token is going to be moving all over the place. But, you know, if the price stays relatively the same, 3.65, how can you lose with that, right? How can you lose with that, right? Um, so, again, that's why I always say, look, Make that your main your main focus, and then you get into the farms and this and that, and play around with this stuff. Is there going to be opportunities to make gains with this? Of course, I wouldn't be putting money into this thing if I didn't think there was, right? Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of ways you can play this. Lots of different strategies you can you can you can uh, you can apply, right? Um, the farms. Cool thing is you're going to be able to track all your earnings right here. That's pretty awesome. But the farms are ready to go. You can see here, dogs BUSD, dogs uh, rap BNB. Here's drip BUSD. You might want to take your drip BUSD LP tokens that you have in your available balance in the, in the garden and throw it in here, right? Because um, some of you guys are like, man, you know, the, the decay in the garden is hurting me and, and, you know, I'm losing money. That's how miners work. I mean, that's just, of course, Forex wants to create a, a, a longer lasting miner, but at the end of the day, it's a miner. We all know how miners work, right? So if you don't like that, Take your LP tokens out of that and put it into the drip BUSD farm right here. Now, again, we all know how farming works, right? If you've been around for a while, but I don't want to say we all know, because again, that's too general. There's people that are brand new and maybe never seen any of this stuff. But if you've been around for a while, you know how this works. You get in early, high APY. As people go into it, the APY will drop, right? Cool thing about it is you can always unstake your tokens, right? If you feel like the APY is is not to your liking at some point you can unstake your tokens uh, anytime you want you can break it up take your busd put in your wallet sell it whatever you want to do with it or take your busd and put it on put it in another part of the uh, of the of the ecosystem and then you can take your drip if you break your lp tokens up and throw it into the faucet lots of ways you can play this so the cool thing about it is you can always unstake right you can't do that with the faucet or the garden or piggy bank or, or you know the other parts of the ecosystem so the cool thing about this is you can stake it on stake but there's risk of impermanent loss when you're in one of these farms right if the price of drip goes down you're going to get hit with per impermanent loss if you're let's say you're in this one the bnb busd if the price of bnb goes down you're going to get hit with impermanent loss right uh obviously you're not going to get hit with impermanent loss with these stable coin ones right so this is where that quote unquote free money right that free money can come into play you can get into one of these these are stable coins they're not going to go anywhere right um they might you might not have as high apy apr than some of the other uh more volatile farms right but this is you can just park your money in here like if you have you know if you have these coins sitting in your wallet you create an lp token park it in here and just earn dogs in this case you're earning dogs right so you got to be aware of your earning dogs or pigs Either way, you know, that's what you want to do. You want to earn dogs and pigs. You earn dogs, you put it in the dog pound, right? You earn pigs, you put it into the pig pen, you increase your ownership in the farm, and you kind of just grow your position, um, right? These are other stable, stable farms, right? Um, BTC ETH, obviously not a stable farm. The price of BTC and ETH can go all over the place, right? So if it goes down, you're going to get hit with a permanent loss. If it goes up, however, right? then you're going to be doing good. Now, we don't know if it's going to go up or down because no one can predict the market, but that's where the risk is, you know, that's where that, that's where the risk comes in, right? You're always exposing yourself to that. Um, ETH BNB, price of BNB can go down. ETH, ETH can go down. It can go up as well, right? But, you know, that's, that's these are these are risk, riskier farms, right? Of course, the more riskier they are, the higher the APR potential, I'm sure. Um, but if you want to just get a free play, like, a you know, free money, and you're a little, little more into the safety and you want to get into a safer play with the, like people are saying, well, what's, what's a safe play with the animal farm, right? Because again, there's nothing safe in crypto, right? And some of these, you're going to make some crazy gains with, but there's going to be risk involved. If you want something safer, you get into these, uh, into these stable coin, right? You can also do a uh, single token, right? That's another safe play. Now, of course, you know, if, if you're, if you're putting cake or something like that in, into a single token pool, Obviously, you know, and this has nothing to do with the animal farm or nothing to do with you know, the trip ecosystem. If the price of cake goes down, when, you know, that has nothing to do with it, right? Do with these guys or do, has nothing. I was going to say it has nothing to do with us, right? Like, I, like if I'm part of the team. <laughs> um, but there's no impermanent loss risk here. You're not pairing it. It's not an LP token. You're essentially just parking your token. 
your tokens that would probably be just in your wallet, laying around in your wallet, you're parking it in here and you're earning dividends, whether it be dogs or pigs. Like if you're parking your dogs, you're going to earn pigs. If you're parking your BNB in here, it's a pretty safe play in the sense that you're not exposed to impermanent loss. You can just take your BNB that would normally be sitting in your wallet, throw it in here and you earn dogs, right? Um, of course, the safer plays, quote unquote, is not going to yield, you know, the, the bigger APRs, but if you're looking for a safe play, this is probably what it would be, right? You can park your BUSD, your ETH in here, cake, right? BTC. You park it in here, you earn dogs. And then you take your dogs and you head on over to, well, there's a couple of things you could do, right? You can actually put it into a, if you want to make an LP token with it, you can put it into the farm. If you want to just, you can take it and put it in the single token staking pool for dogs, or you can throw it in here in the dog pound, right? This is new. How is this going to play out and work? I mean, you, we can we can talk about how it works, right? In theory, how is it going to work out in reality? We're going to see because we've never done this before. This is this is new ground, new area for all, for a lot of us, right? That's what's cool about this is you know this is brand new, right? Here you can track your uh, your auto compounding, um, right? You can you can claim your pigs. It's not live yet, of course. You can claim your pigs. You can claim your B and B. Uh, oops. Here's a dog pound here. Dog pound is the animal farm's loyalty reward system. Uh, you stake dogs AFD to reduce your tax and earn a BNB dividend, which is generated from the AFD taxes. Auto dog pound puts your earned BNB to work by pairing it with AFD and staking on your behalf in the AFD BNB farm. So again, this is good. it's going to be doing it all automatically if you if you want if you want to uh, you know participate in that, earning your compound interest in both BNB and AFP as an added bonus. Your AFP transaction tax is also reduced to twenty five percent faster in the auto dog pound. Okay, one percent a day, making it making it easy to decide wealth generation over short short term volatility, and then you can read about it more in the white paper. So you can stake your dogs right here that you're earning in the in the pools or the farms, and you throw it in here, right? Stake those bad boys right here. Here you can actually sell your dogs if you want for BUSD. You can withdraw your stake dogs. It's all here. You can you know play around with this. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you if you want to just park your park your tokens that you would normally have in your wallet, put it in the single token pools or create you know stable coin LP tokens, that would probably be the safest play. Um, you know, with the animal farm. But you're not, it's not gonna be the, the plays that are gonna give you the biggest gains, of course, because the biggest gain plays. Are going to be the more riskier farms uh, farms if you want to get in get in with that right or you can do you know you take 50 percent whatever you're going to decide to put in whether it be you know a thousand five thousand ten thousand some of you big ballers will have more than that you might want to go 50 50 right you put 50 percent into a, a higher risk uh you know farm then you take 50 percent and put in a low, lower risk farm there's no you can put it into different farms different pools right it's all up to you you don't have to put it into one farm or one pool and go all in on that pool. You can put as you know, you can allocate it, allocate your funds as you see fit. Um, so this is gonna go on, this is gonna go live today, guys. Okay, two hours, as you can see here from the countdown. Um, it should be fun. I think Forex might may do a VC, a short one, probably maybe not as long as yesterday, and then he'll just unpause the dog token and we will be live again. If this is over your head. The faucet is the is a is a you know is a good play. It's a long term play, right? Get into the faucet, and then you can take your passive profits from the faucet and put it into these other things. But yeah, if you want to throw some in because it's the first day, I, I can see where you're coming from that as well. All right, guys, very very uh, it's going to be a very fun day. Uh, hopefully, everything goes uh, you know goes according to plan. Um, but again, just so I can set your expectations right, you know, if there's a little bit of a delay. Don't sweat it. You know, don't stand in front of your, or not stand, but don't sit in front of your computer just staring at the clock saying, when is Forex going to get this done? Like for me yesterday, because I already expected how it was going to go. And I talked about it in my, my other video saying, hey, look, it's probably going to be delayed. You know, before when I was, when I first got into this ecosystem, I'd be in front of my computer waiting, right? Just waiting, waiting, waiting. Now it's like, I'll just go about my business, do my thing. I went out to grab something to eat, you know, came back home. 
saw that nothing was going on, turned on Netflix. You know, I just go about my day. And then <laughs> when it goes live, it goes live. Don't stress. Like you stressing out in front of your computer is not going to make, you know, make it go faster. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll catch you in the next update video, guys. I'll leave links for, for all of this stuff down below. Again, as always, do your own research and uh, only put in what you can afford to lose. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next update video. Peace.